Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. It's been a little while since we've jumped back into The Sims 4, so I decided that it was time to put out another house. So this little house is going to be a tiny house, so it's going to be under a hundred tiles, I think is the uh, qualification for that, um, for a single Sim that loves plants. A uh, pretty simple idea, probably not a unique idea right now after we got that blooming rooms kit I absolutely love everything that came with that and that came out a while ago uh, but I've seen lots of plant lovers houses pop up here and there so we started off with a couple couple very simple boxes for this house um, the layout is very very simple uh, just a little kitchen area we have a teeny tiny little dining room area a bathroom and a bedroom and then we also have like a little reading area Area, sitting area. Uh, my idea for this house was, like I said, a single sim, but I imagine maybe, maybe an older sim, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be an elder per se, uh, but I decided not to give them like a TV or any sort of like electronics or anything like that because I figured this sim would really spend most of their time maybe outside gardening or going on walks or reading a book or something like that. So they're going to be kind of maybe a homebody type sim. Um, Maybe they're, like I said, an elder, so maybe a grandmother, grandfather, something like that. But that's kind of the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of the idea behind uh, the person that would live in this house. So we are starting the build off with the exterior, of course, making sure that we get that all squared away. I was looking at a few pictures on Pinterest, but also a couple other simmers for this one. I will say I was kind of stuck in between like I love the country aesthetic so much and all the stuff that we got with like uh, cottage living and the country kitchen kit and like all those things that we've got. I mean, you can see here I'm pulling from the debug menu from uh, Cottage Living, uh, and it I just love it so, so much. Um, so I was really kind of torn between, like, I really wanted this to be a little bit more suburban rather than, like, a cottage or a country-type build. So you'll see I'll kind of put out some of the foliage here, some of the planting and landscaping, and then I'll kind of take it away and, and kind of revisit and go back to it to kind of get a better look and really what I'm going for. So like the wisteria growing up on the side of the building, I end up taking that away as you saw and going a little bit more suburban. Um, with this one, I do get questions like, you know, do you play with mods? Do you use like the red shelf? Stuff like that. I don't actually play with mods. I enjoy playing vanilla uh, games and just kind of showing you what you can do with the actual game itself. So the little workaround there, this house is up on um, a foundation, but in order to place the the trees and the bushes and stuff like that really close to the house without them kind of popping up, I lowered the house down to the uh, ground level, placed all the plants and then raised it up uh, and then the plants stay there. So you can kind of get them close without using uh, the tool mod or anything like that. So that's why I kind of raised the house up and down a little bit. Um, but I do some of the foliage, some of the landscaping rather in the front yard, and then we kind of move inside and then we actually come back outside. Um, I still am getting used to, or I guess trying to, to better my piece recognition, right? People build faster and much easier when you kind of know what piece you're looking for and where to find it. So getting to know the debug menus is really what I'm talking about. There are so many items, <laughs> so many items in debug and so many items in the, you know, live edit objects, hidden objects, stuff like that. So scrolling through, I'm still kind of trying to identify which items belong to which pack so I can better filter for them. Um, but I, I definitely am enjoying going through that catalog and using things from there. While we are finishing up the exterior, I do want to touch on the fact that I've saw, I have seen rather, uh, the announcement of the new game pack, or rather the leak of the new game pack. We're getting something, it's like My Wedding Stories or something like that is what it's called. Um, what do you guys think of that? So I am, I'm really excited to get a new game pack because a, a new game pack for me means new like build items, build buy items. I am a much more of a builder than I am a player 
in The Sims. So I definitely am one that's going to look forward to more items for build, buy, and stuff like that, and potentially a new world. From the stuff that I've seen circulating around, I think we're thinking we're getting like a new beach world. Um, let me know what you guys think about that because I would be so, so excited to get a new world as long as it has good lighting. Uh, we're building in, I didn't even mention today, this is in Newcrest. Uh, so one on one of the, the smaller lots that is, uh, that's in Newcrest and it has decent lighting. I think it, it's, it's good. Um, I'm still kind of learning which lots I guess would have good lighting and which ones don't have good lighting. So if you have any recommendation for lots that have really, really good lighting, um, always looking for those tips and tricks. So leave those down in the comments below. But my point being that if we get a new game pack, this wedding pack, I will be really interested to see if we actually get a new world with it as well. To be honest, I'm not super interested in wedding type pieces. Um, I mean, maybe there'll be some good like decorative things, maybe some tables, chairs, stuff like that that we can use in everyday builds, but I'm really not one for building community lots. So I really don't see myself, I mean, maybe, maybe I'll get the pack and I'll change my mind and um, I'll just be blown away and I'll be inspired and we'll start building building some winning venues or something like that, which I'm sure you're going to see a lot of once that pack comes out. But right now, if I have to think about it, I really, I don't know. I'm not really excited about, like I said, the actual uh, topic, I guess, of the pack. I'm just more excited, like if we get a beautiful world and if we get some, maybe some clutter pieces or maybe some, you know, uh, fancy wallpapers, flooring, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think will come in the pack or what you're excited for or what you're hopeful for because uh because yeah I, i'm really trying to reserve and not make a uh, opinion until i actually see what is in the pack but going back to the build here you can see we've moved inside so right when you walk in, you have this little kitchen and I totally forgot to put a trash can. <laughs> I wanted to make this build like, you know, complete, like you could put it down and play in it. Um, and I totally forgot to put a trash can. So if you do download this build, which it is up on the gallery, my ID is simply Savannah YT. So you can search that uh, on the gallery and find this little house for download. Uh, you'll have to place, uh, you'll have to place a trash can because I forgot. <laughs> I forgot one outside and I forgot one inside. Uh, all together so you'll have to place that down but in the kitchen we do have a stove um, we have a counter that is usable and then a fridge so it does function but a tiny little kitchen space there you can see I'm pulling out a lot of the blooming rooms little plants and stuff and I ended up taking a couple away just because it was getting it was getting a bit much with it I did want them to be a plant lover yes but I also didn't want it to be like they lived in a greenhouse um, so kind of trying to play the happy medium I really did struggle with wallpaper. I would say wallpaper is one of the hardest things for me to pick. I generally gravitate towards uh, wood flooring uh, floorboards for our, all of my builds. We end up putting tile in the bathroom right now. I know it is, it's wood flooring, but anyway, that's easy for me to pick. But when it comes to wallpaper, I struggle. And the wallpaper that you're seeing is not even the final one that we have in the kitchen and kind of living area. We end up changing it for another kind of wood paneling, but one that doesn't have, it's more like a, a cream or a white color. But um, I don't know why. I just feel like uh, my houses, all the houses I've ever lived in, really just have like white wallpaper. And so it's hard for me. I just feel like either if we pick a really colorful one, it adds too much color or the pattern gets too busy or I don't know. Wallpaper is just something I struggle with. But anyway, I digress from wallpaper. We've moved on to the bedroom. So the bedroom ends up getting a single bed, um, a little bit of a like dresser area. Um, I believe I throw a mirror in there as well. But again, this is only going to be for a single sim. So no double bed. Um, I do want to challenge myself to do like a micro home, uh, maybe a micro home with a double bed or a tiny home with a double bed. Uh, so basically, I guess it would be a tiny home for two sims and instead of one, but this one I just didn't, I don't know, I really wanted this one to be for a single sim. Um, but using those little dresser thingies from laundry day, I think they are, uh, and using those as kind of the, these ones, I mean, I've changed, I believe these ones are still from laundry day. Um, 
using them as what would be like where the sim would keep all their clothes and stuff like that because obviously they still need some sort of storage if we're thinking about this as an actual house so utilizing those and then um like i said i think we throw a mirror in there and uh, uh that's pretty much it um i go through the way that i do my builds is i kind of go through and i put all like the big pieces down and then i go back through and i do lots of cluttering um i find it easier that way for myself to kind of nail down the style before I kind of go through and search for the clutter pieces because the clutter pieces are the ones that I really do have to search for and I have to kind of like scroll through menus a whole bunch of times to see you know find out which ones I really like and which ones go with the the room and stuff like that and I also find that I can't focus necessarily on a certain room for for a long period of time so kind of switching it up and like going through each room and placing down like the big key items to that space and kind of getting the feel and then going Going back and really kind of cluttering up this space I don't know it really just helps my mind uh, my mind focus on the build and the flow kind of comes easier otherwise I start to get kind of frustrated if I'm I'm building and like I don't really like what I'm building or how it's turning out and stuff like that and so it kind of keeps me from just like giving up <laughs> giving up on the build so We've moved back outside where I decided to do a little sitting area for our sim. Uh, like I said, I think that they love to spend time outside. They love to sit and read a book. Um, so I imagine that out here, maybe they could sit at this little table that we're going to put down and, and read a book or, or something like that, or have a, a cup of tea or something like that. You know, in the mornings, they would enjoy kind of sitting out here, gave them lots and lots of plants, uh, a little bee box as well. Like I said, I think that they would have a, a little bit of a green thumb. Um, if I were to add anything to this build, now looking back at it, I might add a couple more um, little planter things so they can actually do a little bit more gardening. Um, but I wanted to keep it fairly simple. Again, I really was trying hard not to go down like the the super cottagey route. <laughs> I really didn't want it to be like a little cottage or like a country style. I wanted it to feel more suburban. I wanted it to feel more like it was in like a neighborhood, but it just, they just like gardening you know but they're they're still in a neighborhood so that's really what I was going for you can see here I'm scrolling through the debug menu just to see what's there because I'm not super familiar with with what is in all the debug menus but these cottage living debug plants are my favorite I absolutely love them the little like snapdragon type flowers they kind of stick up that are like that pastel pink color I think they go really well with like the the yellow color of the house um, I did go back and forth. You can see here I've changed this to the kind of, um, what is that called? Like corrugated metal from... Oh, it was just in my head. Eco Lifestyle <laughs> from Eco Lifestyle um, because I was trying to find like a brighter yellow. The wood panels is the look I was going for and I end up switching back to it in the end and keeping that, but it's just not that bright of a yellow. So I was trying to see if I could find something that would be a little bit brighter um, because I really wanted this build to be, to be colorful. I wanted it to be bright and uh, pretty and you know kind of sunny and that kind of thing so um I, like i said i ended up going back to the wood panels because the corrugated metal just didn't give it the right look but you can see you know i've carried the yellow through the whole house so like the dining table has the yellow tablecloth and there's yellow on the pillows in the bed and the um the drawers in the bedroom stuff like that just kind of making the the yellow and kind of blue and cream color like the theme throughout the entire house was really what I was going for easy I put this little yellow chair down there with the the blue chevron pattern pillow really really like how that little corner turned out I ended up putting some little paintings on the wall and kind of just decorating it um you know for a little reading nook a little bookshelf there and and yeah some blankies to so they could cozy up with a blankie and a book and and just be really cozy, I guess. <laughs> I struggled with um, rugs a little bit just because I, I struggle when there's so many different patterns and textures on the floor in one room. And 
actually remember if I keep that rug there or not. I think I do. Um, they're from Laundry Day, I think, but they're some of my favorite rugs. Uh, I love the, the kind of lacy kind of, uh, lacy's the wrong word, but you know what I mean? Like, they're not like solid rugs. Um, I love the pattern of them and everything, so I tend to use them in a lot of my builds. Uh, but yeah, just going through, now we're on like the clutter portion where I'm gonna go through and just kind of add a couple more details, um, fix some things, uh, move things around, uh, add a couple little pieces here and there. One thing about those shoes, is I always giggle when um, when I see other builders place them down and to preface this there is nothing wrong with the way that other people place the shoes but they always place them so that the toes are pointing away from the wall and I don't know if it's just me but when I take off my shoes I kind of like take them off and like kick them away from me so the to toes are always pointing away from me the toes are always pointing like towards the wall or, or like away from where I take them off so the fact that they always get placed or at least when I see them placed they're always placed like the opposite way around doesn't seem realistic to me like I don't I can't imagine like taking my shoes off and then like picking them up turning them around and like putting them in a spot I don't know does that just make me am I messy am I just not <laughs> am I not a neat person do I just kick my shoes off and like leave them all askew I mean they're not askew they're just facing away from me right because I take my shoes off like with each foot right by pinning like the heel anyway I have no idea if I'm making any sense at all but it was just something that popped into my head as I was placing those little shoes um, but yeah we're just going to go ahead and clutter up the kitchen I think that's really the only thing that's left nice quick easy little build if you guys did enjoy this video if you made it this far leaving a like really does help me out I'm gonna try to get back into the Sims uh, more on a regular basis definitely explore the new game pack when it comes out like I said um, but yeah leave Leaving a like down on the video or a comment really does help me out. I greatly do appreciate it. I always appreciate all the support. Um, I'm also on TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. You can find all the links down below. A Discord as well if you want to come hang out, chat, share inspiration, photos, anything like that. I would love to see you there. But other than that, we're going to move on to just a few quick little uh, glamour shots of the build. Again, if you want to download this, my gallery ID name is simply Savannah YT. You're welcome to look that up, download this little house for yourself and have fun playing with it. Uh, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>